Hi, my name is Paula Deckers and I am the owner of the Northwest Brown Showcase and today I am here with Nadine Bijou of Nadia S. <laughs> Evening and we are going to talk to her a little bit about her beautiful brand new boutique that she opened up in downtown Evans. So Nadine, uh, tell me a little bit about your boutique and how you got started. Yeah, well um, we just opened, we're like three months new. So uh, we're, you know, right now we're doing evening wear, formal dresses, bridesmaid, mother of the bride um, shop. And it's the first location that we have in the U.S. The business originally started with my mother, and so she has two locations overseas where we do full um, bridal salon and evening wear, etc. And, you know, we just thought that Seattle didn't have enough evening wear or didn't have enough people who understand mm -hmm. evening wear the way that I guess we understood it. And uh, that also comes with the fact that Seattle's finally trying to, you know, getting more diversity. And we're getting a lot more people from different cultures who, um, you know, celebration is really important. And uh, they, you know, you go into the mall and you don't really see the selection that you see online. Oh. Or you see an editorial spreads or you see. So we wanted to bring that sort of experience here in Seattle. And we have so many people moving in, you know, to Seattle from all over. Now we're growing. And uh, we wanted to make sure we can offer that kind of selection, especially the selection that we offer overseas and bring it over here for clients. So, okay. So yeah, that's just a little bit about our boutique. We carry a lot of brands, um, you know, the popular ones, and we don't have a high overhead compared to Nordstrom's and Neiman Marcus, so we're able to really competitively price. So that's good. Which is so important. Exactly. Yeah, because with all yeah. those special occasions that come up in a, in a person's life, you know. Right, right, it, right. They don't always have money to put oh, into the dress each and every time there's a new right. occasion to Yeah, go. it's so funny. It's You go from the Pinterest wall to, mm -hmm. oh my God, I want this, this, and this. And then you actually go out and shop and you're like, oh my God. Like, <laughs> at first, you know, a $400 dress doesn't seem that much. But then yeah. you're adding the cake, you're adding the lighting, the decor, your bridesmaid dresses. Etc. and it just kind of adds up it so does, yeah. yeah and that's yeah that's one of the things that we've been trying really hard to do is to talk about budgeting and right, right. you know asking the right questions and making sure that you're getting um, you know value for right your, for yeah your dollars, value so. definitely and you know that all you know I think typically um, the American client actually the Seattle client to be more specific we're a little more frugal and I uh, think so, yeah. You can't say, I mean, I'm not saying it in a negative way, you know, oh, but no, not at all. I think actually it's a good thing at times, you know, we're a little, just a little more conscious of, you know, um, am I going to wear this again? Where am I going to, you know what I mean? Yeah. And so, I, you know, I grew up a lot of my life um, all over, and uh, it's funny, when I lived in Miami, they, psh, I don't care if I'm spending $1,000 on this dress that I'm wearing once. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm going to look good that night, and over here, it's just such a different mentality. It's yeah. like, I'm not going to wear this again, so I'm not going to. And so it's important that, you know, business owners, um, stylists, uh, et cetera, understand that. And a lot of times you walk into the mall, and you walk into shops where, you know, people are just working as a job, and they don't understand that side of the story. And so it's important, especially for someone when they're shopping, um, to find that person that really gets it. Right. And that's hard. Yeah, you know? and you, I'm assuming because you are a small boutique, you can provide a little bit more personal service right. uh, than you're going to find it like the larger department stores. Yeah. Nothing against that, they're just a different, no, it's you know, just it's a just, different, just a different thing. Yeah, it's just a different setup. Um, you know, a department store is going to shop for the mass market. Mm -hmm. We shop for clients. So every time we go on a buying trip, we're like, oh, Lisa was in here last week and she liked this, this, and this, I'm going to go get more this, this, and this. You know what I mean? And Lisa typically brings her friends who typically shop the same way that she does. And so, you know, it's a little more, it's kind of like your personal stylist shop. You know, you come in, you'll always find something for you, even though it's a smaller setting. Um, it's personalized. And right. a lot of the high-end retail stores in New York, those boutiques now, that's exactly how they work, mm -hmm. you know? So I guess we're kind of trying to bring that luxury here. So... Yeah. yeah, I think service is something that unfortunately our country has gotten away from, but it's yeah. coming back around. Right. And I really right. appreciate seeing um, stores like this that take the time to work one-on-one -on -one with people and really yeah. value that customer-client relationship.
Right, um, yeah, yeah, especially for, um, I mean, we'll go into this a little bit too, but when you're shopping for Mother of the Bride, um, which if you haven't yet, you're going to realize it's it's a nightmare. It's a process. Right? <laughs> I hate to say it, it's but a you know, it's a process. But, and especially if you're shopping with someone who doesn't understand, and especially if you don't know where to look, and if you've already started, I mean, I, I'll tell everyone, start at the mall, because you just want to get your ideas going, you want to see what's out there, and you'll leave the mall, and you'll be like, I'm never going to find a dress. You know, and so and so, it's very important that um, you know you do your research and you look around, and uh, if you can find a place that will give you that time and that service, um, whereas okay, hurry, I just want to sell this dress to you, then right. the experience will be so much more seamless. You'll save so much more time, so much more money, money. because. That's the truth, thing, right? People oh, just my think God. that just because they're shopping at a large department store or a bulk store of clothing that, right. you know, they're saving money, and it's not necessarily no. the case at all. Right. Um, right. So, right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. A lot of dresses also, I find that, um, you know, we, it's the market is tough. Business, you know, tends to, sometimes when it's tougher, a lot of people need to cut their, um, either it's their fabrication, you know, it's made differently, it's not like before. Right. Um, you know, they lay off people, whatever way, but you, you'll find it in the product one way or another. Mm -hmm. So you'll find maybe that good price, but... But you might be losing quality is you'll what you're lose saying. You'll lose the quality, yeah. yep, exactly. And that's what so. you're not, that's what's not going on here. You're getting a beautifully made dress right. at an amazing price. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. the reason why we're able to do that is because you know, my mother started the business overseas um, 10 years ago and uh, we're able to buy for a large quantity for three stores, including this one, and um, because we're able to do that, we can cut our costs. And we don't have high overheads, so compared to, I mean, there's definitely an overhead of <laughs> operating a store. Well, that's true for right. any retail. Yeah, yeah, yeah but, um, you know, not as much as, per, you know, department store, and so we're able to cut those costs. And you'll find the brand name dresses, you'll find Tadashi, Shoji, we carry Giovanni, we carry Sherry Hill, we carry those, you know, Moncherie, those brands that, like, everyone is finally getting to know, I guess, on this side of the, of the coast, mm -hmm. um, but not at those, you know, super expensive uh, prices that you're finding them right now, so. Yeah. Yeah, that's fantastic. So we did talk a little bit about the process of the mother of the bride. Finding a dress. Right. How does one really oh go about God. doing okay. that other than starting at the mall? Right. So <laughs> um, what I like to tell my clients is you want to think of three things. And the first thing is style. And um, second thing is fit. And the third thing is comfort. Mm -hmm. And we'll break those down. It's a little bit more intense. Then, uh, you know, style fit and comfort, of course, duh, it's important, you know, but there's something that goes into each of these. And so the first one's style. Um, you want to make sure that if your stylist is not asking the right questions, you are. And, or you're, you, per se, not questions, I guess you're letting them know. It's daytime or it's evening mm -hmm. because that plays into the style. If it's evening, if it's after 5 o'clock, um, am I going to be wearing long? Um, oh my god, I don't want long, so maybe I'll do short, but now I know that, you know, I'm going to do short, but it's evening, I should be more dressier, so I should find a cocktail dress that's a little more dressier. Mm -hmm. So And or you might need accessories. They accessories go with to go with yeah, it, exactly. exactly. Yeah. Yep. And so, um, so the style is really important, and the first thing you want to, you know, how do you attack the style is by knowing, um, you know, the venue. So, you know, I'm going to ask you. Where is the venue? You know, where is it? Outdoors, mm -hmm. indoors? Is it a fancy hotel? What is it? Um, okay, great. Uh, after five or before, cocktails are casual. And so once we start to pinpoint um, the kind of theme, then we can go on to the fit. So great. Now we know that, you know, my certain mother of the bride is, you know, her bridesmaids are wearing these colors. I'm not going to pick this color for her. I'm going to pick a color <laughs> that's going to go beautiful in pictures right. and not clash with everyone else. And, um, you know, still look, you want to look like the mother of the bride, you well, know? That's a really great point because mm -hmm. I wouldn't have actually thought of that. Um, you know, making sure, and we I discussed this in another video with right. with the formal wear that if the bride is wearing white, then all the groomsmen should wear white shirts, and if it's ivory, right. then ivory. Yes. So, but that is a really important point that yeah. the mother of the uh, bride should also be in a, a dress that's going to 
complements all the other colors that are going Definitely. on in the, in the wedding. Definitely. The theme of the wedding. You know, the number one thing that she'll say to me is, I don't want to overplay or outplay, outshine the bride. <laughs> you won't. Yeah. <laughs> you won't. She's in the white dress. She's, you know what I mean? The attention's right. all on her. You know? Not that she can't um, look amazing. My yeah, no, 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 she but, will look yeah. amazing. You know, your daughter will look amazing. The bride will look amazing. But, I mean, it's there's no shame in, you know, dressing up and looking the part. Right. That's important. You, the worst thing that could happen is you walk in and they don't know who the mother of the bride is. You know, yeah, that's who to true, greet. too. Mm -hmm. So, because that's the important. mother of the bride is the one that is walking around and greeting everyone and welcoming everyone. So, you know, because you'll you'll be doing that, you want to make sure you look the part and you also are comfortable. Yeah. So, which goes on to fit, before we get to comfort, comfort um, the fit is uh, a lot of women know their bodies, mm -hmm. you know, and, and what looks good on their figure. And what looks mm -hmm. good in them, yes. But that can also be a negative thing because a lot of times women will come in and they they know it and I trust me I'm the first one to walk into the store and be like don't help me I know exactly what to grab for myself you know but be open-minded because that's what I'm trying to say is before you know when you go into this experience be open-minded try on things you don't think you would try because you really never know that's so you true. know so you one thing know. will look one thing on the hanger the next thing will look completely different on yeah. so yeah, definitely have an open mind and that's how you can really find the right fit for your body. And that's great advice too because just like you said, keep an open mind. Yeah. You never know what you're going to find out there right. that you never would have thought of in a million definitely, years. Definitely, definitely. I mean, you know, so many times the mother would be like, oh, you're like, this. you're a size zero. This is not going to look the same on me as it is on you. And I'll be like, oh, no, actually, like, you know, you just gotta try it on and see. This is, you know, I, I, yeah, maybe I'm a size zero, but I shop with my mom all the time. She's a size eight. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you just kind of gotta understand, you know, different, um, you know, fits and how it's gonna fit on your body and stuff. So, right. yeah. Well, those are great. Those are all great information. And um, I guess my last question for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just love this question. My video viewers probably are tired of it, but I think it's so important because. Every year, and in the wedding industry in particular, there are trends. Right. And sometimes they continue for years, but sometimes they don't. So, yes. what are some of the trends you might be seeing in um, bridesmaid attire and or Ooh. mother of the bride attire? Yeah. So, um, I guess for bridesmaid attire, I'm seeing a lot more um, bridesmaids who are wanting to do black. Okay. So that's really in right now. I've heard that. Yeah. yeah. The, the, so, the people are getting more back to the formal look. Right. They're mm -hmm. doing. Yeah. And so the reason with black is that you can really do like a really cool accessory to go with it. You could, you know, nice, amazing hairpiece, statement necklace, or you know, I saw one bride who I guess had all of her bridesmaids in um, what was it, red shoes. Okay, black, black dresses and really red pretty. shoes. It was really pretty. It was so pretty. It was a classic. And I and bet it looked amazing in the pictures, it did. too. And she had red yeah. lips and red nails, and it just looked really nice. So I'm seeing a lot of that come back, and also that way bridesmaids can wear the dresses again. Mm -hmm. um, for Mother of the Bride, I'm seeing a lot more women who are, um, you know, going back to uh, wanting to do long, actually. I'm seeing a lot longer, more. Longer, for yeah, more I'm formal seeing dresses. a lot more nice. formal and you know, they're saying this is the only time I can wear it, so why not? <laughs> it's so true. <laughs> yeah, so I'm definitely seeing a lot more long, um, a lot more people who are not shying away from doing just a little bit of beading or okay. something, so, yeah. Yeah, and a lot of your dresses, I mean, as we, as you can maybe see um, behind us here, the, the hair just, they're oh. stunning. I mean, with all the bead work and the, you know, the bling, I call it's it. It's very <laughs> red carpet ready yeah. you know, kind of mm -hmm. look, and it, you know, on Instagram and Pinterest and all that, you oh, keep know, seeing so all that inspiration. Yeah. And so finally, we, you know, we have something for that. So, yeah. Well, I am so excited that you're here. I am. I am really happy because I to know that there is a wonderfully, uh, like a boutique that will not only provide self service but have amazing gowns at great prices, and right. that you'll be providing mm -hmm. that one on one service that so many people are lacking today. And yeah, definitely. Um, I guess. You know, visit us online, NadiaSEvening.com, and uh, follow us on Facebook um, and Instagram. We post so much different styles and tips and different ways you can wear dresses and, you know, beauty tips as well. So um, I invite everyone to follow us there.
Yeah. Well, thank you for your time, Nadine, thank and um, we look forward to uh, many years of success for your business. All right. Thank you All so right. much. Thanks thank a lot. you.